Okay, so uh, this is the IELTS speaking mock test, and I will start asking you questions, okay. and I will skip all the other parts like displaying your passports and things. Okay, okay. Okay, and I will start straight to part one. All right. Okay, so this is the IELTS speaking part one. This is about family. So, how many people are there in your immediate family? Uh, four, including me. Mm -hmm. uh, my I have one sister. You and my points. parents. So are you the younger? I'm the youngest, yeah. Okay. So who do you get on best within your family? Uh, it would have to be my mom. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've, I've always been a mommy's boy, so it would have to be my mom. Okay. So do you have a large extended family? Uh, I, my grandma and grandpa had a lot of babies. So, oh. so yeah, we have a lot of relatives. So what do you do together with your family? We don't really have dedicated family time, mm -hmm. but we, we tend to get along very well, so it's just it's just normal for us. So why is family important to you? Our family is very important to me because um, uh, I feel like they're the only people that I can trust. Mm -hmm. I can put like my full trust on them, so mm -hmm. I think that's why it's very important. Yeah. So do you do housework at home? Yes, but I ask for money. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I, I hated mm -hmm. the idea of like asking for pocket money, so mm -hmm. I told them I would do this and this mm -hmm. for you. And like, I saw my mom ironing mm -hmm. and stuff, and mm -hmm. it's not, I don't think, you know, she's pretty old, so yeah. <laughs> like, it would put strain on her body. So I, you know what, it's like two, one, two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. So I get, I get the pocket money, I get to help my mom. So yeah. yeah. So what kind of housework do you often do? Iron, ironing. Mm -hmm. That's that's pretty much the only thing I do. And then I also sometimes dry the clothes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's it. Okay. I don't do any. So did you do housework when you were a child? No. <laughs> I'm the youngest, so yeah. I I got I had the luxury of not doing any, not having to do anything. So do you think that children should do housework? It de it depends. I mean, if you're the, the older sibling and if your family doesn't have like, any maids or something, maybe they should help their parents. Oh, so let's get on with this. Uh, this is part two. Describe a positive change in your life. You should say what the change was about, when it happened. Okay. Describe details of the change that happened and describe how it affected you later in life. Okay. You can, you can see the prompts here. Okay. So if you're ready, we can start. Okay. So your two minutes starts now. Um. So I grew up. A, I grew up with pretty strict parents. I mean, they're they're very lenient, mm -hmm. but you know, I, I was just very like a good kid. I guess I was very sensitive, so mm -hmm. I didn't want to offend them in any way. So it was pretty strict for me, even though they weren't you know necessarily mm -hmm. strict. So I grew this habit of lying oh. or like just uh, altering the truth basically. Mm -hmm. So at first it was only in like things that like I would get like I would try to get out of trouble mm -hmm. but but like as time goes on I kept like I kept lying and lying and I started lying on like small things mm -hmm. and to not just my parents to everyone around me as well. So what started happening was that my my life started like I started living in lie in a lie basically, mm -hmm. but like uh, when I finally go to the meditation center, mm -hmm. and I also get to I was aware of uh, Buddhism ways and the way of Buddha, but when I really get there and when I practiced it myself, I understood I I get to experience it myself, and I realized lying, just living like this isn't good and. And when I finally realized that it was very liberating and it freed me from my shackles, mm -hmm. and I'm happier than ever. <laughs> that I'm happy that that changed for me. And since then, I have I have not lied. Now, but but also not lying entirely isn't always good. So now, whenever I have to lie or something, or when a situation comes up, I just refuse to speak. Mm -hmm. or, just if you're like, don't lie and then don't say anything. So that's that's how I live by now. So uh, this is how it affected you later yes. in life, I believe. Okay. So let's move on to part three. Okay. So do you think change is good? 
yes, because mm -hmm. as humans, I don't think anybody can live the same way. Mm -hmm. We are we're ever evolving. Mm -hmm. It's not just in human, in humans, in nature. Generally, we're always changing. Yeah. So. I'm, it, even if the change is bad or whether the change is good, it doesn't matter. I think a change is always necessary and we should always be changing to be better. Mm -hmm. e even though it could be, <laughs> could, could become worse, but change is good. Okay. So what are some of the major changes that occur to people throughout their lives? Apart from physical changes, I think um, mostly I would say the surrounding. Mm -hmm. Surrounding is... Uh, people will have major changes mm -hmm. and based on the surrounding they can if it can affect them even physically and emotionally mm -hmm. mentally it could change their behaviors the way they live so I think that surrounding is like the it's like a trigger and yeah. it will be like a domino effects on all those other things yeah so so is your country changing rapidly <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. in the recent two three years, mm -hmm. it's been on a rapid decline. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, it's a negative change, but mm -hmm. it has changed very quickly mm -hmm. in, in these two three years. So, I think I think is is one of the fastest changes in history. I think, yeah. but like there were also like war periods and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's not true. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has been a pretty quick change in our country. Yes. So in what ways have changes in technology changed people's life? Technology has advanced so fast. Mm -hmm. like I, could, I could talk about text me messages and how it has helped us mm -hmm. communicate and stuff like that. But even then, like, that would be, that's pretty old news because mm -hmm. now there's AI art, yeah. there is uh, chat GPT, I don't mm -hmm. know if you know, it's yeah. blowing up right now. And stuff like that. Um, People are facing, um, basically they're losing their jobs mm -hmm. and the AI is taking over their jobs. Mm -hmm. For example, the AI art. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are people who can uh, paint and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And comp some companies like that, if they want to use the designs for their business and stuff like that, they can buy from the artists. Mm -hmm. But now, instead of paying a lot for artists, they can just take it freely from the AI art. Even though it's not perfected yet, mm -hmm. but... It's pretty new. It's a baby, so it's been, it's, it's pretty recent. In time, it will be, it will be. It will blow it'll up. Be, definitely. Yeah, it'll blow up. So why do old people not accept change? Um, be, I think it's because they like the peace. Mm -hmm. Old people, when, when it when it comes to change, it comes with a lot of troubles, and basically you have to put an effort to, mm -hmm. uh, to change with the change. You know, to follow with the change, and old people. They, they really don't have energy. They have a lot of time, but they don't have energy and strength for that. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think they, they don't like change. They don't want to put effort. Okay, so thank you, Gao Heng Dan, for demonstrating this really brilliant IELTS speaking motors. And Gao Heng Dan recently took the test on the 28th of January 2023 and gained an outstanding overall pen score of 8 with a uh, pen 9 in listening, a pen 8 in reading, writing 6.5 and in speaking an outstanding pen 8 and he just demonstrated us how he answered in the test and i believe this will be of great benefit to you and i hope everyone watching this video will get very high pen score in the near future so thank you thank you thank you, thank you. okay so i will see you in my next video have a great day bye bye bye, -bye.